Hello and welcome again in engineering section at GoPro Innovatives. Last week we talked about what are the wide possibilities after civil engineering, different softwares which are in very much demand right now, top companies in India and much more. If you haven't watched that video, you can check it out from the description below. So let's move on to today's topic which is very much straightforward for freshers. In this video, I will share my opinion whether you should do internship after engineering or not. Well, let's see, there are two major things which students choose after graduation. First is get a job either from campus placement or maybe from any other sources. Second is going for higher education. Now, going for regular higher education is always a good option if you have enough support or good financial conditions. So those who are capable must gain expertise by doing higher education. But if we see the first option, it is quite obvious that not everyone will get a job from campus placement. Or let's say maybe if someone is managed to get a job from any other sources, but still there are more chances that you may not find that job satisfactory. So now what? What we should do? See, the engineering is not something that anyone says, okay, if after 12th I am not able to do anything else, then I will go for engineering. That's not true. Engineering is a passion and those who go for it, they exactly know where they will be in this field after certain years. Keeping that in mind, let's see our third option, internship after graduation. So for those who might want to know a bit about what is internship and how it is different than a job, let's take a quick look. So these are the basic differences between job and internship job it could be an agreement with company at full time basis for a longer period internship it is a fixed time period agreement with a company for a shorter time normally about six months job it is well paid on work basis according to your studies and after experience normally the salary starts from 20,000 and more per month internship normally some companies just provide stipend which is like not more than 3,000 rupees per month job Minimum 8 hours of working hours per day as per the company guidelines. Internship Working hours may vary. It could be less or more than 8 hours. Depends on your interest and companies also. Job Multiple tasks and responsibilities are defined. Internship Mostly you will be involved in only one project. Now I hope you got the idea about internship and a job. So now my very straightforward suggestion is you should of course go for internship if you are not able to get a job after graduation. It becomes very important to do something after in case if you don't get a job. Do not sit idle and wait for a job. Instead, apply for internship and proceed further. Now you may think what is the benefit of doing this internship anyway? I am not even getting paid for it then why I should waste my time there? Yes, these are the questions which comes in mind for most of us. Now I will tell you some major factors why these questions have no value. The very first point is contacts. Yes, contacts. You heard it right. Being in a company for about 6 months is a golden opportunity to expand your contacts in field of engineering. When you work there, by interacting with more experienced people, you will be able to make good relations with them. They might even guide you which specific part of this job have very much demand in current time, which software, which major companies are there in the same working field. These things you will never get to know by sitting idle at home and trying to search for it on the internet. Second point, the reality. Studying the concept of different engineering topics in a book and looking at the reality how the same is being done in actual is very much different which you will only be able to know when you are in a company. You will get an exposure how companies are using very advanced engineering software to solve most critical engineering problems. Moving along, third point, the work habit. It may sound easy at first but working 8 hours straight is not an easy task, especially if you have just completed your studies. Trust me, if I was told to study for 8 hours instead of working, I would be very happy to do it. So this feeling you can only get to know when you are in a company. The fourth point, behavior. Do you know how people behave when something very stressful or something very complicated is given to them? How they overcome on all these? You know, there are situations where you need to be very careful about what you say. Attending meetings, speaking up in front of companies, most important people is not an easy task. So once again, these things you will never get to know while sitting idle at home. The last point, personal and work life. 
yes in last it is worth adding this point you know after getting a job managing your personal life is also a major task so when you will be around these people at the time of your internship you will get a feeling how they are managing everything and how you will do it in future but in a much better way so doing internship has lots of benefits and so many other things to consider it will be definitely a guideline to your successful career path and i totally understand that money is a big factor but trust me if you have spent 4 years at engineering in same situation then it is worth giving extra 6 month instead of sitting and constantly worrying about a job well that ends another episode in our engineering section if you like this video please hit the like button and most important do subscribe to our channel and we will meet next week with another interesting topic till then take care bye bye